Best Love MMA fans and BKFC 6 fans. Look what I got the house here, David Feldman, and we are inside the Expo Hall at the fairgrounds getting ready for the fight, BKFC 6 on Saturday. How are things going, Dave? Uh, it's going great. The setup's going great. The, um, the support, the, the fanfare, everything about this event in Tampa is, is just phenomenal right now. You know, Dave, it's pretty empty behind us right now, but let's talk a little bit about the amount of people it takes to set up a place like this, because in just a few days, it's going to look completely different. Yeah, we have a team. I mean, just our team basically is about, you know, 25, 30 people that we have in here setting everything up, and then they have their team. So I would say, you know, there's, there's 60, 70 people working on this event to get this thing tightened up, and it, it's going to be a great event. I think I think Tampa doesn't even know what they're in store for. <laughs> it, it's, it's fireworks. fireworks. You can say that for sure, fireworks. we got to talk about ticket sales because I know they are got to be off the chart by now. Ticket sales are going great. We were actually in the room next door and we moved over to here. So now we have all this upper level seating available and hopefully we fill that up. Everything else is almost gone. I mean, tickets are going phenomenal. Uh, the social media buzz on this all around the world is great. The foreign, the foreign rights that we sold in all different foreign territories is way more than we've ever done. This event is really totally off the charts for us and it's, you know, it's a great event for bare knuckle in general. All right, we're going to talk about Artem and Polly. I know they're probably not staying at the same hotel because they really hate each other, right? They're definitely they're not staying at the same hotel. They'll see each other twice before the fight, once at the press conference, once at the weigh-in. The thing that's so amazing about this is this is real, true animosity. This is not built up or fabricated in any way. This is true animosity. These guys do not like each other, and it's going to show right here in back when that squared circle is up on Saturday night. <laughs> All right, fans, I know you want to know the answer to this question. Dave. Who are you picking? I, I, I can't pick a winner. I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm the promoter of the show. I can't pick a winner. I can pick one thing that it, it's, it's fireworks. I mean, I think you're going to leave Saturday night and going, wow, I did not expect to see that. Um, I think we have 11 fights on the card, and I think every single one of them could be fighted at night. Like, that's the explosiveness on this card. I truly think this is the biggest or the, the, the best match and the most hyped combat sporting event of the summer anywhere in the world right now. I mean, there's a lot of hype behind this match. A lot of people want to see this with everybody that's involved in this. And we're going to see what happens on Saturday night right here at the, at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa. You know, you had a last minute, Lehman had a last minute change with his an opponent. Let's talk a little bit about how that matchup matches up for between Cochran and Lehman, because that is something new that was added to the card. And what did happen to Brendan Ward? Well, uh, Brendan Ward, we just had um, some little discussions back and forth, and it just didn't work out. Okay. Um, don't really want to go into it too much. No um, problem. Want to, you know, ensure his privacy on everything as well. And um, we got Dakota Cochran, who fought for another bare knuckle company right. and knocked out Johnny Hendricks, surprisingly, fast. So can lightning strike twice? We're going to see. I mean, he <laughs> took this fight in the last minute. He took that fight in the last minute. He's coming to bang. I mean, it's good. And another one, fireworks. Right. The, the lightweight championship, Reggie Barnett versus Johnny yep. Bedford. Who do you pick for that? You don't know, right? I mean, it's going to be another fight with fireworks all up and down the card. Joe Riggs on the card, Chris Lieben. Artem, um, Paulie Malignaggi, this car is stacked from top to bottom. Randall Bailey's coming back in, Randall too. Randall Bailey, the, one of the top ten hardest-punching boxing champions in history. Yeah, yeah we can't wait. Yeah, uh, we can't wait either. We're excited. We really, truly are excited. You know, it's tiring. It's a tiresome job, and it's an unloved job, and nobody loves you for it, but the fans <laughs> are going to love us on Saturday night. Fighter tryouts. So, you guys, we've got to talk about this because this is an opportunity for new fighters to try out for BKFC. So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, we got tryouts following the press conference 6 p.m. at Calta Boxing and Fitness right here in Tampa. Um, we're looking for the next big thing. We're looking for someone that has the ability to stand in there and, and fight bare knuckle, that has the heart to do that, but even more than that, that has the story. What's your why? Why do you want to get in the ring? Why are you willing to fight bare knuckle to give your family a better life? What is your why? Yeah. Because I think if they have the right why, it's going to show in that square circle. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for. Before we go today, Dave, is there anything you want to, else you want to add? And please tell us where we can watch the fights, because you got to watch the fights, guys. You, you got to you got to buy this fight. I'm telling you, I'm putting my money on this fight. This is a fight. So tell us where to, where to watch it. You can get your tickets right now at bareknuckle.tv. There are tickets left. We opened up the upper balcony, man. It's going to be great. Bareknuckle.tv. Grab your tickets. You can also get all pay-per-view information through Bareknuckle.tv as well. We're with all the major cable and satellite providers in the United States and Canada, or you can get it streamed on Fight TV throughout the world. We also just signed a deal with uh, the UK and Ireland. You, we're available in Premier Sports there. So this thing is going around all around the world. I, I mean, if I had to guess, I would guess we're going to have 10 million people watching this event on Saturday night.